concurrent resolution expressing the sense of the Philippines that North Borneo belongs to the heirs of the Sultan of Sulu and to the ultimate sovereignty of the Republic of the Philippines, and authorizing the President to conduct negotiations for the restoration of such ownership and sovereign jurisdiction over said territory. April 28, 1952 Congress of the Republic of the Philippines First Session House of Representatives, H. Cor. R. Number. Apat na put dalawa. Introduced by Congressman Makapagal, Rasol, Escaril, Cases, Tizon, Tolentino and Laxon Concurrent Resolution Expressing the Sense of the Philippines that North Borneo Belongs to the Heirs of the Sultan of Sulu and to the ultimate sovereignty of the Republic of the Philippines, and authorizing the President to conduct negotiations for the restoration of such ownership and sovereign jurisdiction over said territory. Dalawamput anim na weras, on January 22, 1878, Sultan Mahamit Jamal al Alam of Sulu executed an agreement with two British subjects, Gustavus Baron de Overbeck and Alfred Dent. Lisang and delivering to the latter the territory now known as British North Borneo for an annual rental of $5,000, whereas, on April 22, 1903, the British North Borneo Company, which succeeded to the rights of Messrs. Overbeck and Dent, entered into another agreement with Sultan Jamalul Kiram of Sulu to include in the original lease certain Islands lying north and northeast of Borneo for an additional rental of $300 annually. Whereas, Messrs. Overbeck and Dent and their successors, including the British government, paid religiously the total annual rental of $5,300 for the leased territory until the year 1936, whereas, the British government ceased to pay the annual rental in 1936 not because of repudiation of its obligation to make payment but due to a controversy as to who are the present heirs of the Sultan of Sulu. Entitled to receive the annuity, whereas, on July 16, 1946 the British government annexed as a crown colony the aforesaid least territory known as British North Borneo, thereby depriving the heirs of the Sultanate of Sulu, of ownership over the territory, whereas, the annexation of the territory as a crown colony of the United Kingdom is based mainly on the claim that the deed executed by Sultan Mahamid Jamal Alam on January 22, 1878 in favor of Messrs. Overbeck and Dent was a session and not a lease, which claim is unfounded because the deed in fact was merely a lease whereby the Sultan of Sulu delegated his governmental powers to the Lacys and granted to them the right to develop and exploit the territory, reserving to himself the ultimate sovereignty over said territory, whereas, the act of annexation made by the British government is. Furthermore, based on the claim that subsequent to the deed of January 22, 1878, the Sultan of Sulu capitulated in the same year to the Crown of Spain which in turn renounced the sovereignty over North Borneo.